Hi there, in this video I'll be showing you the art of repose, which is a French term that literally means pushed up. The materials I will be using will be a heavy gauge aluminum, a wooden stylus, a design template of your choice or a freehand sketch, and either some foam or newspaper to place between your work and the table that you're working on. The process will involve actually manipulating this aluminum here with your wooden stylus in order to create areas that are repose or pushed up, as well as creating areas um, that are pushed down, which is a technique called chasing. I'll be manipulating the foil from both sides, flipping back and forth continuously as I work to create desired textures and designs. So the first step of the process is to actually take my design and transfer it onto the aluminum. So I've attached my design um, with tape at the top so that as I'm working and transferring, um, my design doesn't shift around. So tracing over with the design template um, with my wooden stylus literally just transfers the design onto the under layer of aluminum. So I just trace over all of the areas that I've created a line design with and the process is results in an indentation or a very simple line drawing on the front of my repose plate. You can see there's a little bit of indentation just from the design, um, but it's just a very simple line design at this point. Um, if you look at this example, you can see how some of the aluminum has been pushed out extremely and some of it has been pushed in extremely. The term for the metal that has been pushed down in areas, such as this right here, is concave. And metal that's been raised up in areas such as this area right here is called convex. Um, I tend to remember these by the word concave and relate it to something caving in. Um, and the, which this right here would be the concave. And then the convex is the area that's been raised up. An area on the flat plane, which is just as important when creating a repose, is neutral. So the neutral area would be these areas right here. Another neutral area would be the area that you create when you define the lines. Those are going to be neutrals because they're um, providing contrast between your convex and concave areas. Um, I'll begin the tooling of the aluminum, aluminum with the stylus to give you the areas um, to give the areas form and create a 3D um, dimensional surface. So the process of the tooling, as I said, includes working from both sides of your aluminum and pushing in areas with the stylus and repeating the process on the back. So this newspaper or foam underlayer is necessary for your aluminum to absorb into as it's being tooled. Um, tooling is the actual process of pushing down in an area. Um, when you're working on a neutral plane, you'll want to remove the, the foam or newspaper and work directly on the table, which is a hard surface and doesn't provide absorption for your repose plate. So as I'm tooling and going through this process of manipulating with the um, stylus, I need to be thinking of a few things. I need to be thinking of the element of line and how I am using line in my work. So I'm using line in my work with everything I'm creating here. I need to create and define spaces that are going to be convex and concave. Um, I need to be thinking of shape and the shapes that I'm going to be creating, such as the dimension and depth within the flower and areas. Um, I need to be thinking of form. What form do I want my project to take? Um, in order for it to become three-dimensional, you need to create a form within your work. Um, I need to be aware of texture. So I want to create texture. In order for my final product to be um, a repose plate, I need to create texture. So you can see I've created a lot of texture um, within this area, um, within the center of the flower. I created texture a few ways. One of the ways that I created the texture was by simply pushing down in areas and then I worked back and forth on the plate to create contrast between those two areas. Um, I also need to be aware of um, balance in my work. So when working on my plate um, I need to be aware of the areas next to the area that I'm currently working in. So if I'm currently working in this space right here, I want this space to have contrast, which means that I'll be flipping my plate over and pushing down 
in this area. As I push down in this area, it's going to create contrast between the area I just worked in and the area next to it. Another way to add that contrast in is after you've worked an area, you can go back and define that line. And by going back and defining that line, it is allowing contrast between the area right here and the space right next to it. So when working with the repose, you're continuously working from front to back, front to back, creating depth. And every time you push in one area, it's creating contrast between the other area. You can see that on the example here, I have shaded, pencil shaded in areas where I want there to be contrast. This is essential when working with a repose plate so that you can determine areas that you, as you're working, it's mapping out and planning out the route you wanna take with your project. So the final result, will be a repose plate similar to this, where you have areas that have been raised and flattened, and it's a three-dimensional piece of work. Thank you.